Tim Tebow situation. Uh, anybody apoplectic on the NFL live set there? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I was not. I tried to be very clear about this. Not, no one's angry. Oh, okay. I'm not angry at Tim Tebow. Tim Tebow can pursue whatever dream he wants. I'm still making terrible paintings in the hopes that, you know, that flies down my path at some point. I am angry, not angry, but I'm critical of Urban Meyer. This, to me, reeks of bad management. And we're talking about a guy who the primary concern around Urban Meyer is not whether he can coach football, it's whether he can manage an NFL team. He comes in, he hires a strength coach out of Iowa, Chris Doyle, who was, you know, left town because of accusations of racist behavior, that backfires immediately. And now he pulls this stunt. It just feels like like running a college team is like running a mom and pop, right? Whereas running an NFL team is like being a CEO. This feels like mom and pop behavior, and that's what put me off. Yeah, I'm with you on it. I, I but I, I don't know. It's one of those where he's Tebow lives what, three doors down from Urban. They have so much success together. Like how does how does Urban say no to Tim Tebow? Um, he says, I'm the, now running an NFL team, and you're 33 years old, and you haven't taken a snap since 2012 when, you know, Mina Kimes had yet to do sports radio. Like, this is not Well, tenable. let's do role-playing here. You're, you're Urban. Ooh. Okay, good. <laughs> and, I, and I'm Tim. I don't Tim. want to be Tebow. Okay. You, wait, you want to be Tebow? No, no, I want to be urban. Okay, I want to be okay. urban. Okay, so, yeah. hey, hey, Coach, um, I'm having a barbecue. I'd love for you to come by, and I wanted to talk to you about something. Um, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that uh, – not kind of thinking. I'm, I want to come and play football. I want, I, I want to play tight end for you. Tim, you're still three. You don't have to call me coach anymore. Our relationship is – You'll always be that. my coach, and you know that, Coach. I do know that. I'm just trying to help you. Um you are incredibly successful. You make a bazillion dollars to be an icon to many people. You're on television. You're writing books. You don't want to block for my team that's probably not going to win the AFC South, Tim. You don't want to be mocked because you've never caught a pass before in the NFL or any level, really. I mean, Tim, this is not really what you want. It sounds like you miss being part of a team, so why don't you come on as an assistant? Then you can hang out in the locker room. You can give rousing pregame speeches. Um, you know, I'll give you a jersey. Wait, wait, wait. Coach, coach, hold my non-alcoholic beer. I'm going to take off my shirt, and I, and I want you to see how jacked I am. Okay, let me up my offer, Tim. You're not just an assistant. You're the get-back coach. Use those guns to hold me back on the sideline, just like we have in college, just like Sean McVay has with that strength guy. You can be that guy for me, and then you'll get a ton of camera time too. But you know that I, I work out harder than anybody. The game means so much to me. I'm going to give you Tebow time all the time, anytime you want it. I'm going to be there. I can get you tickets to a Mets game. I am going to be there for you, Coach. I will never fail you. And you know that. You know that after that speech that I gave after a loss in college. I was never going to lose again. I'm, I'm at a barbecue and I'm ready to run through a wall right now, Coach. Uh, you had me into the Mets game, Tim. <laughs> Nobody wants to go to a Mets game. Come on. Uh, you're right.